I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to this Cisco certification video quiz on HDLC and PPP. And we're also going to work in some PAP and CHAP here. We're concentrating on point to point connections. And as with my other video quizzes, I'm going to through the, go through the questions fairly rapidly. So if you need to pause the video for a few extra seconds to make your choice, please feel free to do so and then we'll review the answers at the end of this video and go into a little explanation of each. So here right off the bat, which of these statements is true regarding HDLC and PPP on a point-to-point -point connection? Which of these four statements is true? And all of my questions are the dreaded select all that apply. So let's move on to the next question. You might see this in a production network as well as certainly a home lab or a test question. If a point-to-point -point connection is physically fine, but there is a timer or some kind of encapsulation mismatch, which of these four should you expect to see when you run the show interface serial command? Which of these four would you expect to see in that situation? Let's move on to the next question. Which of these four cannot? literally cannot appear in the output of show interface serial. And of course this command would be followed by the number of the interface like show interface serial zero. But which of these four cannot happen? Move to the next question. Which of these features is offered by PPP but not by HDLC? We'll move to the next question. Now this particular debug output can actually be produced by two different debugs. Both of them you should know about for your exam and for the real world. And I'll discuss the difference between the two in a moment. But name the two debug commands that can actually produce that output. And that should look pretty familiar to you in your NA studies as well. Now in this command that I've put here, usually you'll see the PPP authentication command followed by one either PAP or CHAP, but you can put both. That's a legal command. Well, in that case, which one of these four things is going to happen? What does PPP authentication CHAP PAP do? What's the net result here? We'll move to the next question. What protocol is sometimes referred to as the manager of a PPP connection? No choices here. What protocol is sometimes referred to as the manager of a PPP connection? We'll move to the next question. PPP allows you to select one of two compression techniques. What are they? What are they? We'll move to the next question. Just choose the correct statements from these four. We better know the difference between our protocols that send clear text passwords and which ones are going to send hash results. So we need to be able to identify the true statements in this list. And we'll look at the final question and then go back over the answers. What is the default encapsulation for a Cisco router serial interface? All right, let's go back to question one then and we'll start going over the answers to these. Whether you're running PPP or HDLC, the encapsulation type has got to match on both ends of the point-to-point -point connection. So in this case, the correct answers are A and C. If you're running HDLC on one end, you've got to run it on the other end. The same goes for PPP. Now here, the wording physically fine means that serial zero is physically up. So we know it's going to be either A or B. But if there's a timer issue, say a clock rate command's missing, or we've got an encapsulation mismatch like I talked about a moment ago, you've got PPP running on one and HDLC running on the other, you should expect to see line protocol is down. So the answer here is B. Which of these cannot appear C? Because remember, serial zero is, either up or down refers to the physical state in the interface, Line protocol is up or down refers to the logical state. If the interface is physically down, it cannot be logically up. For our next question, pardon me there. For our next question, all of these are offered by PPP but not by HDLC. 
PAP, CHAP, multi-link capabilities, and dialer callback are all PPP features. Now, the reason I mention this one, you always want to know more than one way to do things in Cisco land, but you'll see this output in both the debug PPP negotiation and debug PPP authentication commands. And what I like to do in a lab or out in the field, if I think there's actually an authentication issue, I'll run debug PPP authentication first because frankly you get much less output. It's easier to see exactly what's going on. If you run the, the debug PPP negotiation command, there's nothing wrong with that, but you get a lot more output. It can be a little difficult to pick this out. And of course that is our three-way handshake that we see in action there with CHAP. Our next question, what is the net result of this command? Well, when you list multiple PPP authentication methods, the methods are tried in the order in which they're listed from left to right. And if the remote router isn't running that particular method, the next method is tried. But if the remote router is running that first method and authentication fails, the second method is not used. So here we're looking at CHAP being attempted before PAP. And then, so A is correct, B is incorrect because they're not going to be made at the same time. C is incorrect because if the CHAP authentication attempt fails, then a PAP attempt is made. D therefore is true if the remote router is not running CHAP, a PAP authentication attempt will be made. The manager of a PPP connection is the Link Control Protocol, LCP. PPP gets all the glory, as we say, and LCP is actually doing all the work. PPP allows you to configure either stacker or predictor. The true statements here are A and D. PAP sends a clear text protocol across a WAN, which is why we don't use it terribly often, and CHAP is going to send a hash result. So here we're looking at A and D. And then finally, it's a protocol we mentioned a couple of times here. The default encapsulation for a Cisco router serial interface is actually HDLC. So you want to watch out for that. Hope you enjoyed this particular Cisco video quiz. I've got quite a few more videos here on YouTube and on the website www.thebryantadvantage.com. Over 250 Cisco tutorials at last count and growing every day. So come out to the website. Love to see you there. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and I'll see you on the website.